The brain is a fascinating mechanism that is not completely understood, but of course, it takes a brain to understand a brain. Take a look at these mental games that will make you think. Number five, world's hardest riddle. Think you're good at riddles? Have you found out about the horse named Friday and have downloaded every riddle app available in order to train your brain to its maximum power, considering you are the master of all riddles? Well, I give you this entire video to come up with the answer to this one, known as the world's hardest riddle, okay? Here it is. I turn polar bears white and I will make you cry. I make guys have to pee and girls comb their hair. I make celebrities look stupid and normal people look like celebrities. I turn pancakes brown and make your champagne bubble. If you squeeze me, I'll pop. If you look at me, you'll pop. Can you guess the riddle? A whopping 97% of Harvard graduate students cannot figure out this riddle, but 84% of kindergarten students were able to figure this out in six minutes or less. Can you guess the correct answer? You have until the end of this video to figure it out. So as you play these mental games, put those cognitive skills to the test and see if you could outwit those little kindergartners. How hard can it be considering nearly every Harvard student missed out on the answer? Number four, count the Fs. You may have seen this one on social media, but in case you haven't, let me put you to the test. Are you familiar with the letter F? Good, then you should excel at this game. All you have to do is count the Fs in this photo. The necessity of training hands for first-class farms and the fatherly handling of friendly farm livestock is foremost in the minds of farm owners. Since the forefathers of the farm owners trained the farm hands for the first-class farms and the fatherly handling of farm livestock, the owners of the farms feel they should carry on with the family tradition of training farm hands in the fatherly handling of farm stocks because they believe it is the basis of good future of farming. How many did you get? 10? 12? If you did, that's pretty damn good. But what if I told you there are over 30? Would you believe me? Well, let's go count them again. The first one is in first class, right? Wrong. Examine every letter rather than every word. See it now? The necessity of? The first F is in of. Then first class? Nope. You missed four two. It was right in front of you and you missed it. Don't worry, it's perfectly normal. As humans, we tend to skim read words like of and for, counting them as unimportant. That's why when you read the excerpts, it was likely you missed the Fs in those words. Number three, pick a door. Have you ever seen the show Let's Make a Deal, where the game show hosts give the players a chance of a lifetime by asking him or her to pick one of the three doors? Did you know there is a scientific reasoning and statistical information that can help you pick the correct door? It's called the Monty Hall Problem. Of course, the name came from the original host of Let's Make a Deal, Monty Hall. The way the game works is you're on a game show and you're given the choice of three doors. Behind one door is a luxury car or a trip to the Bahamas. Behind the other two are a blender and a living room rug. They may be nice, but you want that trip, right? The original set included goats behind the other doors rather than small prizes. So you have seconds to make a decision. What do you do? Choose door number one, two, or three. Let's say you pick number one. Your host knows the correct door, but you do not. He then opens the door number three to reveal a blender. You are happy that you are one step closer to getting your trip. Your next decision is even more crucial than your last. He asks you that fateful question. Will you stick with door number one or switch to door number two? Is there a right answer? Absolutely. It's all about probability. At the beginning, there was a 33% chance of you choosing the right door. So a 33% chance that door number one was correct, a 33% chance door number three was correct, and a 33% chance door number two was correct. After one door was revealed to be incorrect, the probability has changed. Is it 33% on both doors or 50%? The truth is, when you choose your door, there was a 33% chance that it could be the right one and a 33% that each of the others would be right. But there is a 66% chance that the right door is one of the ones you haven't chosen. 
This doesn't change after one door is open, so the better option is to switch your door as door number two has a 66% chance of being the right one. Right where it hurts, Drew Carey. Number two, perception confusion. I'm going to show you some optical illusions. You might think that since I told you this, you can't be fooled. So let's just see about that. Think you could tell the difference in a male and a female face? Look at this one. One male and one female, right? Actually, this is the same face, believe it or not. It is just a male-female photoshopped hybrid. You assumed one was male and one was female, so you look for the male parts on one side and the female parts on the other side and created your own illusion. So how about the Leaning Tower of Pisa? See how one image is slightly tilted? No, you don't. The images are again identical. I told you I was gonna show you illusions. Okay, enough with the identical images. Let's move on to singles. Check out this parrot. What if I told you it wasn't a parrot, but a painted woman? Go ahead, take a closer look, and it's quite obvious. Body paint can do crazy things. It's all about perspective, such as these cars right here. Notice anything unusual? Just some nice old cars sitting on the street, except they aren't real. They aren't painted either. They're simply model cars not just Model Ts. I know none of this is really fair, so I'm going to let you take a second to try really hard to let your brain focus. You can overcome these illusions. Never mind. I'll just tell you the answer so you'll know what to look for. Okay, these squares, A and B, are the same color. For real. Also, these monsters are the same size. No matter how hard you try, you just can't control your own perception at times. Number one, how good is your vocabulary? Let's take a breather from viewing illusions. Let's see how well you know the English language. Did you know that a Massity is fondness for buying things? A draft is refused and a strapedo is a punishment or torture in which the victim was hoisted in the air on a rope and then allowed to fall almost to the ground before being stopped with an abrupt jerk? Probably not, but maybe you know more than you think when relying on instincts. I'm going to give you some random words and you keep track of how many you know and how many you don't. Let's start with 10. I'll give you a couple of seconds between each for you to recollect. Number one, altruism. Hockloon. Chavezic. Skaxis. Unimpossible. Plaster. Printer. Ethoism. Rudentury. Flack. How'd you do? 10 out of 10? 9 out of 10? 6 out of 10? Are you a master of the English language? If you are, then you only got 2 of 10. You know why? Because Whoa. only 2 of them are real English words. The first one and the last one. Don't worry about guessing some of them as real. It happens to the best of us. Our brains will assume the words are real when put before us and might even think we know them to appear smarter or more adept. But it does make you think, doesn't it? It will make you look deeper into the words you read. Plus, it may let you know that you don't know as much as you think and that assumptions can only lead to sorrow. Back to number five. Okay, now remember that first question? Did you come up with an answer? Let me give you the riddle again. I turn polar bears white and I will make you cry. I make guys have to pee and girls comb their hair. I make celebrities look stupid and normal people look like celebrities. I turn pancakes brown and make your champagne bubble. If you squeeze me, I'll pop. If you look at me, you'll pop. Can you guess the riddle? A whopping 97% of Harvard graduates cannot figure this riddle out, but 84% of kindergartner students were able to figure this out in six minutes or less. Can you guess the correct answer? The answer is, drum roll please. No, that's right. The answer to this riddle is no, because no, you cannot guess the correct answer. 
This is the reason why kindergartners were so quick to answer correctly. They admitted that they didn't know. College students had too much pride to do so. They worked tirelessly to come up with an answer, but failed eventually asking for an answer rather than saying no and admitting they couldn't figure it out. Did you enjoy these mental games? Keep watching for more fun, 